Pope Innocent II, born Gregorio Parpareschi, was Pope from 14 February 1130 to his death in 1143. He was probably one of the clergy in personal attendance on the anti-Pope Clement III. Early years Parpareschi came from a Roman family, probably of the Ryan Trastevere. Pope Paschal II made him a cardinal deacon. In this capacity, he accompanied Pope Gelasius II when he was driven into France. He was selected by Pope Calixtus II for various important and difficult missions, such as the one to Worms for the conclusion of the Concordat of Worms, the peace accord made with Holy Roman Emperor Henry V in 1122 and also the one to France in 1123 that made peace with King Louis VI, election as Pope. In 1130, as Pope Honorius II lay dying, the cardinals decided to entrust the election to a commission of eight men led by Papal Chancellor Hymeric, who had his candidate Cardinal Gregory Parpareschi hastily elected as Pope Innocent II. He was consecrated on 14 February, the day after Honorius had death. The other cardinals announced that Innocent had not been canonically elected and chose Cardinal Pietro Pierleoni, a Roman whose family were the enemy of Hymeric's supporters, the Frangipani. Pierleoni took the name Pope Anacletus II. Anacletus a mixed group of supporters were powerful enough to take control of Rome while Innocent was forced to flee north. Based on a simple majority of the entire College of Cardinals, Anacletus was the canonically elected Pope, and Innocent was the anti-Pope. However, the legislation of Pope Nicholas II preempted the choice of the majority of the cardinal priests and cardinal deacons. This rule was changed by the Second Lateran Council of 1139, Papacy. Anacletus had control of Rome, so Innocent II took ship for Pisa, and then sailed by way of Genoa to France, where the influence of Bernard of Clairvaux readily secured his cordial recognition by the clergy and the court. In October of the same year he was duly acknowledged by Holy Roman Emperor Lothair III and his bishops at the Synod of Würzburg. In January 1131, he had also a favourable interview with Henry I of England, and in August 1132 Lothar III undertook an expedition to Italy for the double purpose of setting aside Anacletus as anti-pope and of being crowned by innocent Anacletus and his supporters being in secure control of St. Peter's Basilica, the coronation ultimately took place in the Lateran Church, but otherwise the expedition proved abortive. At the investiture of Lothair as emperor he gained the territories belonging to Matilda of Tuscany in return for an annuity to be paid to the Pope, in consequence of which the curial party based the contention that the emperor was a vassal of the Papal See. A second expedition by Lothar III in 1136 was not more decisive in its results, and the protracted struggle between the rival pontiffs was terminated only by the death of Anacletus II on 25 January 1138. Innocent took his cardinal nephew first his nephew, Gregorio Parpareschi, whom he elevated to cardinal in 1134, and then his brother Pietro Parpareschi whom he elevated to cardinal in 1142. Another nephew, Cincio Parpareschi, was also a cardinal, raised to the cardinalate in 1158, after Innocent's death. Second Lateran Council by the Second Lateran Council of 1139, at which King Roger II of Sicily, Innocent II's most uncompromising foe, was excommunicated, peace was at last restored to the church. Aside from the complete rebuilding of the ancient church of Santa Maria in Trastevere, which boldly features ionic capitals from former colonnades in the baths of Caracalla and other richly detailed spolia from Roman monuments, the remaining years of this pope's life were almost as barren of permanent political results as the first had been. 
His efforts to undo the mischief wrought in Rome by the long schism were almost entirely neutralized by a quarrel with his erstwhile supporter, Louis VII of France over the candidate for Archbishop of Bourges, in the course of which that kingdom was laid under an interdict to press for the papal candidate and by a struggle with the town of Tivoli in which he became involved. As a result, Roman factions that wished Tivoli annihilated took up arms against Innocent. Treaty of Miniano on the 22nd of July 1139, of Galusio, Roger II's son Roger III, Duke of Apulia, ambushed the papal troops with a thousand knights and captured Innocent. On 25 July 1139, Innocent was forced to acknowledge the kingship and possessions of Roger with the Treaty of Mignano. In 1143, Innocent refused to recognize the Treaty of Mignano with Roger of Sicily, who sent Robert of Selby to march on papal Benevento. The terms agreed upon at Mignano were then recognized. Innocent II died on 24 September 1143 and was succeeded by Pope Celestine II. The doctrinal questions which he was called on to decide were those that condemned the opinions of Pierre Abbéard and of Arnold of Brescia. In 1143, as the Pope lay dying, the Commune of Rome, to resist papal power, began deliberations that officially reinstated the Roman Senate the following year. The Pope was interred in a porphyry sarcophagus that contemporary tradition asserted had been the Emperor Hadrian's.